Benvenuto, non si gioco a boxe. Um, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if you could have guessed it, uh, we're going to cover the uh, Match Room Italy card, the zone uh, card in Italy today. Uh, and we're going to uh, get into the prospect, uh, the super middleweight prospect, uh, Daniela Scardina. Um, but before we do that, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, quick hits. We come at you twice a day. Just keep you real up to date on the world of boxing, uh, all the latest updates, news, rumors, etc. Um, twice a day, eight to ten minutes a day. I will bring you two shows a day. Quick hits. Um, please like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Share in all forms of social media. Um, if you could have guessed it, um, like I said, there was only one fight card today, and it was uh, in Italy. Um, it was the. Um, like I said, the match from Italy card. Um, Italian prospect uh, Daniela Scardina uh, scored an eighth round knockout. Um, and we're going to get into it. I, I know everyone on uh, 3D, I'm sorry, on MCR always likes it when I uh, the big up and, and, and fanboy my Paisan. So this guy looks okay. Uh, we're going to get into it with the good, the bad, and the ugly of Scardina. Exactly, you know, what he does well. And uh, you know, what he needs to do better and what he doesn't do well. But uh, he scored an eighth-round knockout. He looked okay. Um, an opponent who had been in with two other top opponents. Uh, he'd been in with Berlinga, got knocked down in the first round, of course. And he was in with Fegan Boots, and he got knocked down in the eighth round, the same round that Scardina. Um, so he, he, Scardina is kind of holding serve with where he's supposed to be. Um, and the other top 168-pounders, um, that, you know, he, he's performing as well as he should be. You know, he's not struggling with these guys, but he's, you know, he's winning the fights he's supposed to win. So, so let's get into, um, perhaps the best Italian fighter in the world right now, even though I think it's Ivan Zuko who fights in the same weight class, but, uh, Daniela, uh, Daniela Scardina, uh, headlined the card on a pretty entertaining card. I think the card was in Milan. Um, he fights out of a high guard. Um, he throws good combinations. He disguises his right hand really well. Uh, he go, he mixes up the head and body. You can see, whoever taught him how to fight did a good job. He trains now in Miami, um, and and he's a good. His mechanics are good. Um, he, he's a little robotic. He's not particularly fast, um, but he does things well. He throws a double left hook really well. Uh, he throws double uppercuts really well. He mixes up. He goes head, body. He throws a really nice jab to the body. He's got a real nice stabbing jab. Um, you know, d- double hook to the head. You know, and then I'll go downstairs. And, and he mixes it up really well. Um, he picks his spots. Like I said, he picks his punches. He doesn't waste a whole lot. Uh, he picks his punches pretty well. Um, one thing I noticed, but he he doesn't. Really sit down on his punches, especially early. Uh, once he had his opponent in some trouble, you can see that he started to settle down um, and really try to get him out, and he did. And he, and he did it in pretty good fashion. Um, I, I'm not saying Scardina is going to be a world champion, but there, there are things there he does well. There are things there that you can, you, you can build upon. Like he hides his right hand really well. He disguises his right hand behind the jab really, really well. Um, so he can sneak that in there. He's not particularly fast, so he's going to have to, you know, he's going to have to get his timing down. He's going to have to find his ranges, and he's going to have to, you know, he, he can't show his punches. He, he keeps up a good work rate, which is good, which he's going to have to do. Um, he keeps his jab pumping. He really does keep his jab pumping. So there's a lot of things well. Like, um, you know, if you were training a fighter, you know, he, he does things well. He just he doesn't have – his knockout percentage is really good. He's got 14 knockouts and, and 19 wins. He's got 19 fights, and he's won 14 of them by knockout. 
Well, his knockout percentage is pretty good, but the power's not great. The speed's not good. Um, so, but he's big and strong. He's got a good base. Um, he's got some pep in his step. He's got a little spring in his legs, even though he's got real slow hands. Um, so, what doesn't he do particularly well? Like I said, he doesn't commit to his punches. He's pretty basic. He's pretty basic. Um, like I said, he's straight up and down. Um, it's jab, jab. You know, there, there's not tremendous footwork in there. There's nothing really that separates him. Um, the biggest ploy is he's slow. You know, and, and that's going to be a problem. Um, and he doesn't move his head. He's easy to hit. He got hit. He got tagged a few times in there um, with a fighter that really isn't at his level. He was even hurt once or twice. Uh, but he dominated the fight. He won every round. But he did get hit a little more than you'd like, especially if he's going to move up. Um you don't want to see him get hit that much. Um, where does my Paisan go from here? Uh, he's a European level fighter. Okay, we, we know that. Um, he's on the same side of the street as. Uh, yeah, um, he's on the same side of the street as LeBron Richards. Uh, that's a name that gets floated around a lot. I'd like to see that. I think that's an interesting fight. I think it's a fight that. Either guy could win. I think it's kind of a 50-50 fight that either guy could win. Um, and then the, the winner kind of takes a step forward. And the loser, still early in his career, it's not over. Uh, Scardine is just 28. Um, like I said, I don't think either guy gets blown out. I think it's a competitive fight. I think it's a good fight. Uh, but I think LeRon Richards is the right is the right test for both guys right now. Um, he won some European Commonwealth belt, so that would be on the line. Um, you know, if Eddie Hearn is listening, uh, Scardina and Laurent Richards, and I think we can get a little UK Italy kind of rivalry here. I think that's a good fight. I think that we can we can build something there. He's got a bunch of matchroom uh, fighters in Italy. Um, I, I think we can make something here. I, I like that fight. Um, you guys interested in this? You know, again, I, I had to cover my paisans. Um, I obviously have a tank roots. My mom is from Italy. Um. So I, I have to cover this. Um, and it was also the only card on today. Uh, please check out the podcast that we did on MCR uh, MCR Podcast. That's Mixed Combat Radio. Go to the YouTube page. I did a podcast today. It was really good. We covered Canelo, uh, the, the Fury Joshua uh, scenario. Uh, check all that out. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Get quick hits. We come at you twice a day. Two shows a day. Just eight, ten minutes. Um, we'll be good two shows tomorrow. Uh, again, eight to ten minutes. We'll just keep you up to date. Um, on, on everything, the latest in the boxing world, old news, rumors. Um, it is February 27th. I'm sorry. Yeah, February 27th, 2021. Um, actually, it's still February 26th, technically. It's February 26th, 2021. Please like and uh, – Ivan Calderon is still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, we need to change that. We need to get Iron Boy into the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um Let's get Iron Boy in the class 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.